everyone. My name is Tabion and I'm one of the mentors working with McMaster Outreach. In this video, we will continue learning about ELM through understanding functions. Before watching this video, it would be a good idea to watch Lesson 2 on groups and definitions as that's the concept we are building upon. Now first, we will be logging into MacOutreach.rocks' website and from there we will be selecting Animation Slot. Now in this slot, I have already made a definition of a flower. To refresh, a definition is a group of code that is condensed into a single title, kind of like teaching the computer a new shape. Definitions are usually created to make the code simpler, so it's easy to, easier to recreate certain code. Now, let's say you've created an image using a definition like I have. What if you wanted to change up this definition? Or what if you wanted to, for example, make a pink flower in the corner? Now, with the current definition we have, this wouldn't be very possible because our current definition states that our flower is red. And currently, we'd have to make a whole new definition to make a pink flower. However, this can really easily be changed and we can make our definition customizable by changing it into a function instead. Now, functions are essentially like definitions, but they allowed customizability for the inputs such as color, size, etc. Now the process of converting a definition to a function is quite simple and can be done with just a few tweaks to the code. For example, if we choose to have color customizability with our code, then all you would have to do is write a word in between the title and the equal sign. For example, I'm going to write COL to signify color because I want to be able to customize the color of the petals. So you can write any word, but I chose COL and the first letter of the word has to be lowercase. Now since I want to customize the color, I'm going to change red to be COL. Now when I click compile, we run into an error. This is because we told the computer that the flower is filled COL, but the computer doesn't know what COL is. Now we get to choose what COL is. So for this flower, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna choose red. So now we have a red flower. So now I wanna make a pink flower. So I'm gonna write flower again. And in my shapes model, I'm gonna write pink instead of COL. And now I'm just going to move the flower down a bit and to the right. And now we have been able to manipulate the definition and turn it into a function so that we can customize the color of our flower. Now with functions, you can customize more than just one input. For example, I want to change the color of the middle yellow part. I want to to be able to customize the color based on the flower. So this one's gonna stay yellow, and the other one I want to be light brown. So I can just make a new variable called col2, and I'm gonna change yellow to be col2. Now we go back up to my shapes model, and we have to define what col2 is. So for the first flower, I'm gonna keep it yellow, but for the second flower, I'm gonna do light brown. Now we have been able to successfully change the color of the middle part of the flowers. However, we could also change more than just that. Now let's say I wanna make a new flower, but for that one flower, I want the middle part to be even smaller than it is for the other two flowers. So what I can do is make a new variable. I'm gonna call this one size, but you can use any word as long as the first letter is lowercase. And I'm gonna change the 12 to be the variable size. Now again we have to define the variables so I'm going to keep the first two 12 as they were originally and now I'm going to make a new flower and I'm going to make this one light blue. I'm also going to make the middle part ye light yellow 
and I'm gonna make the center part 10 so just two units smaller um, than the other two flowers and I'm gonna move it down and to the left So now we've been able to make our new flower with a smaller center than the other flowers. We've also been able to manipulate our definition to become a function with each input to be customizable so that each flower is unique. So that's about it for lesson four. Now that we've learned how to create functions, you can try and use functions to make cars of many different colors and sizes driving on a road or any other scenery that would involve functions. And if you ever get stuck, you can always type your question or error into the bottom right hand section of the screen and a mentor will do their absolute best to help you. Thank you for joining us and I hope to see you all soon.